YouTube channel and thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Oni and you're welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about top 10 highest paying part-time jobs in the UK for international students in 2022. So, if you're about to be a student or you're already a student, this video is going to be very useful for you because I'm also going to be sharing my experience too. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And also do not forget to turn on your post notification button so you can know every single time I post a video and you don't miss out on anything. So let's just get right into it. So I'm just going to mention the list I have here. It's in no particular order. It's, I'm just going to mention like randomly. So the first is support workers. Everyone knows that hospitality and care is a very demanding job in the UK and they are looking for like a lot of people and also students to work part-time and support them. So for this job, you will need to have patience, you need to have compassion, be sensitive and also just um, have the willingness to help because you're also going to be working in like hospitals or helping elderly people at home people that cannot support themselves on their own you could get shifts and you will go to their houses you take care of them or you do that at the hospital so it's a very demanding role but the average pay is 9.55 to 12 pounds per hour the next is food production operative i can give you like very good information about this role because this was where i worked when i was a student and i worked there for like a year and i didn't see any reason to change even though it was like stressful um because it was close to my house and i was paying very little amounts on transport to get there they were giving me like a lot of breaks and also they were paying me well most importantly so there was no reason for me to change basically it's like a warehouse and depending on the side of the warehouse you'll be involved in labeling um food products packing um packaging cleaning and operating machines like just different things that involves the process of making food and this is not just food you can also work in amazon um i remember the time i actually wanted to work with amazon i was about to apply and they asked for my n9 number and at that time i didn't have n9 number i know amazon really pays well so you can also work for like different supermarkets um warehouse factories sometimes it could be fun depending on the um company they'll give you like a lot of breaks like sometimes i used to have like seven breaks literally seven breaks like it depends on if we're like much working that day so we have time to go for breaks and sometimes i go for break like every hour every two hours i started having pains on my hand like towards the end of my stay there so you can work like day shift and also night shift i love to work night shift um i just feel like night is like faster and the average pay is around 9 15 to 10 60 per hour the next is delivery driver a lot of people are ordering online and companies are also looking for people that would deliver this um products to customers so this is very good i know as international students you are coming so you don't really have a car so if you have like the funds you can actually invest in bicycle and you help restaurants deliver food um to customers the average pay is around 10 22 to 11 17 per hour and also if you have a car you can help with companies that offer online shopping and just help to deliver um food to or products to people the next is private tutor private tutoring is a great way to make money in the uk as a student the fact that it's also at the comfort of your home is also very good it also helps you to have a very good cv and it just shows that um you have skills in teaching people communication skills organizing as well as very good knowledge in the area you want to teach all you have to do is just to build your cv and also write like a pitch on what you offer and students will reach out to you a very good website that offers these services is super proof basically you just go online sign up build your cv write your pitch and advertise your services and students will reach out to you you can literally earn about 20 to 30 pounds per hour the next is customer service advisor basically providing support to customers over the phone or emails and just like solving their queries and if you get like this role with a very good company you can also like remain with them like when you're done i know someone that got this job with a bank and basically when she was done 
they ask that to stay so it is a very like you know if that is like your line and your passion is a very good way to get started the average pay is around 10 pounds per hour you see them a lot on indeed like um jobs online and also like your school career website um the last time i saw for backlist was actually my school that sent it to me so yeah before i proceed with this video i want to talk to you guys about transfer go transfer go can be used to send money to nigeria or also um usd cash pickup basically it's a stress-free way to send money you can send money any time of the day is highly safe and regulated by the UK authorities. When you send money from UK to Nigeria, it delivers in less than 30 minutes to the person's bank account. They also offer the best rates and you get your first two transactions for free when you sign up with them. So if you need to send money to your family and friends and you've been looking for a way to do it, paying a lot for commission then you need to try out transfer go and thank me later so check the link in my description box and start sending your money today the next on my list is teaching assistant this role you are going to be helping lecturers with students so some of your responsibilities are going to be preparing classrooms for students giving feedback to students preparing documents for the lecturers and understanding requirements of students it's also a very good job to get UK experience while you are studying in the UK and the average pay is around 9.85 per hour. The next is retail worker. There's a lot of retail opportunities in the UK for international students. You can work in supermarkets, bookstores, pet stores, like every store is looking for a retail assistant. So the best place for you to apply is on their website and they have the average pay of 9.85 per hour. Basically, you'll be helping with customers and helping to like direct them, pack products, arrange the shelves and you could also be involved in accepting payment and helping at the cashier. So, um, yeah. The last I'm going to talk about today is receptionist and this could be at the hotel or school or offices that are looking for a receptionist and basically you will need to have communication skills and organization skills um you'll be helping customers at the front desk and just directing them taking care of them until they get the services they need we've come to the end of this video i really hope you learned a lot of course there's still more jobs but this is like my top eight if you feel like i've missed any important role please drop it in the comment section so you can help other people to see it and thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye